Nico, could you elaborate of what life would be like under a central bank digital currency for everybody? So basically, there's there's this German movie that has, um, I think, has had some success uh, in the US. It's called um, Das Leben der Anderen, Life of the Others. It's about life in communist Eastern Germany. And it's about this one guy who, who spies on some other guy um, and makes it his life's um, mission to spy on him, basically. You know, he basically sits across the street and spies on him for years. And that would be... That would be what we have, what we would have on a center by digital currency. And there's no way around this because once you have this, you have this honeypot of information, politic politicians, police, and even central bankers will just use it. So life on, with, with a tot totally controlled center by digital currency um, will be absolutely horrifying because not only do you have the censorship and the political control and the, the, the surveillance, you know, that is why Edward Snowden's talking about this all the time because surveillance is, is his topic, you know. Um, not only do you have the surveillance, the really scary part is the economists. Because right now we are in a situation where, where fiat money and the central bank experiment is on its last legs. And we've been knowing this for a very long time, but we didn't know how, how creative they will get with prolonging um, the system. And central bank digital currencies, and this is also why I, I put economists before even like central bankers or politicians because, and the police, because economists are crazy. Um, especially Keynes and uh, macroeconomists who think they can they can steer the economy in any any direction, right? They want they want us to not only own nothing. They also want us to to to, to they, they also want us to steer into you know social credit score system. You bought this, um, maybe it has too much you know C CO2 emissions, so ne tomorrow you cannot buy something else. And you already have this in China where where people cannot send their kids to the right schools because they said something on, on the Chinese Twitter that was not communist enough. It's absolute insanity. Um, and the thing is that this works in China and it will probably work in Russia because these um, countries are very autocratic and very collectivist. Um, and in the end, the question is, are the people going to accept it in the so-called free world, in the so-called um, liberal West, right? Because I am absolutely of the opinion that as long as we as we as we fight back, we do stand the chance. This is not um, a certainty, absolutely not. It's not a certainty on the technical side because you don't know how they are going to do it. They don't know how they are going to do it, you know? Because if we have a central digital currency, nothing can go wrong. If you get hacked, what are you going to do? You know, when, it said, when, when the media says yeah, the euro just got hacked, so what, what's going to happen then, you know, with the euro? Even if there's just a rumor about uh, it getting hacked. Um, the second thing is, the second thing is, uh, they, where are they going to get the developers? You know, where are they going to, they're central banks, they're not computer comp companies. So they're going to buy it from some private company like they're doing now, this, 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 these things with MasterCard and the banks, you know. Um, I actually like to say, you know, if you're young and if you and if you if you if you're into computers, if you like to do something with money, maybe you know get a job at some of those institutions and some you know maybe leave some bucks um, because because this is this is an important fight <laughs> for for our future. We can if we lose this, um, we really have a huge problem, and I don't know um, um, you know how far along we are, but I do think that the day that, they, that if we if we push back um, and if the information spreads faster than they can develop their surveillance currencies, that we do have a chance to to stop this. Really, I, I really think we do because we also have Bitcoin. And Bitcoin, I mean, can Bitcoin be stopped? You tell me, Nico. Absolutely not. <laughs>